Joel chapter 2 is truly an amazing chapter in this short prophetic book. Bible scholars divide it into four sections. There's the mighty invading army in verses 1 through 11. Joel's thoughts on this section are summed up in his words, who can possibly survive? A call to repentance is found in verses 12 through 17, where the Lord gives a warning, turn to me now while there is still time. Give your hearts to me. Verses 18 through 27 document the Lord's promised restoration. It's complete with food, a restored reputation, protection, and the utter destruction of the enemies of the Lord. But the best section must be the promise of his spirit beginning in verse 28. After he's done all these things, the Lord says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions. In those days, I will pour out my spirit even on servants, men and women alike, and I will cause wonders in the heavens and on the earth. But what does this verse really mean? The prophecy, at least in part, has already been fulfilled. Peter was preaching on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2 when Luke records, and everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit. And from that time forward, the Holy Spirit indwelled all those who came to faith in Jesus. In the future, the Holy Spirit will continue to play an active role in end time events. Blood and fire, clouds of smoke, the sun will become dark, and the moon will turn blood red before that great and glorious day of the Lord's arrival. But everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So why is this pouring out of the Spirit so important for us today? Since the fulfillment of the prophecy in Joel 2 has already begun, all who surrender their lives to Jesus in our time and live their lives in submission to him will experience the power, the presence, and the peace of God's Spirit living and working in them. So when anyone asks you about Joel chapter 2, don't be bashful. Tell them about the Spirit's coming at Pentecost and his presence indwelling your life today. Mm -hmm.